All right, I've done some finished sanding on it. It's nice and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and put a coat or two of wipe on poly. This is not, these are not in the directions, but I figured I'd go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna drill the holes for the strings to go through on this hinge. I'll just drill the other two and I'll be ready to attach this to, to the end of the neck. These are the sound holes. So I'm gonna drill a hole at each corner to fit these. I've already marked an inch and a quarter in from each side so that I can know where to put them at. I just picked that number at random. All right, now I'm going to mark out the placement for the holes for these tuning heads. These tuners, whatever you call them. That was a one quarter inch hole that except this shaft for the tuner. Now I've got to change to a 5 16 inch drill bit to drill a small counterbore for this bushing in the top side. Yeah, I just realized I drilled the holes on the wrong side, so I should have had two holes on this side because one of these is going to be upside down, but I'm not re-drilling any other holes, so it is what it is. I'll just have to turn the knob the opposite way to tune it. Yeah, I guess I should have put the bushings in first and now I'm have to, having to hammer them in with a great piece of wood. It's kind of tight. Now I'm going to install these corners, these little metal corners. So. Place each of them, pre drill, and then screw them in. All right, I'm ready to string it up. And here's the strings it's just a G, a B, and a D string, which makes the G major triad.
I just got my other guitar on here just so I can get an idea of what I'm the notes I need to be. shabby. Alright, so this is the first cigar box guitar I've ever built. I've never played one before and I've never really used a slide before, so it should be an interesting experience trying to learn how to play. It actually puts out a pretty good amount. I'm surprised by the, uh, how loud it is. It's just a little, uh, from watching YouTube videos, I, I kind of tell what they were doing, so. I think next time, um, I have an amp to put together as well, so once I get that done, I might take this back apart, install the electronics, uh, maybe get a, some different strings uh, for what I see on YouTube more often than GBD. I see a lot of GDG. Uh, so I might get another set of strings, install the electronics, and we'll come back and I'll show you what it sounds like coming through an amp. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris McDowell. And I'll see you next time.